so we've done specials, we've done subs, and now the anticipated final sequel, obviously for weapons. I have two weapons in mind for this video. If you enjoy and want to see more content where I balance things in Splatoon 3 from my perspective, leave a like, subscribe, and let's get into it. Just a quick disclaimer, I'm going to be focusing on changing the actual main weapons rather than their kits specifically for the actual weapon attributes, and that's why weapons like Neo Sploosh aren't here. Anyways, starting us off with the first weapon is the Big Swig Roller. So this weapon is just bad. It has hidden potential. The main gimmick of the Big Swig is the amount it paints. It paints better than Dynamo if you take into account efficiency and it flicks really fast. The big issue with the Big Swig is its poor damage. It has the range to be good, but the damage is what downsizes the range it has, especially on the vertical. Big Swig is the only roller in the series that doesn't have a horizontal flick one shot for some reason. I don't know why, but anyways, I have two buffs and one small nerf, and then I have a new kit that I want to give it. So first, the obvious one, I'm going to increase the maximum damage for the close range horizontal flick hitbox from 70 to 120. This is obvious because this is one of the biggest strengths of rollers in the first place, having that close range pressure so you're not easily rushed down while giving them a lot of good potential for sharking. This would have to be a fairly small one shot radius though, something around that of carbon roller so it's not too broken. For the next buff, I'm going to change the minimum damage for the vertical and horizontal from 40 to 45 to give it better existing synergy with angle shooter on the express kit. Next, I want to touch on the vertical flick. The vertical flick is about the only redeeming factor of this weapon. It has a ton of range and it can actually one shot, but it is a bit too much after the previous buffs. So I'm going to slightly increase the amount of ink consumed per flick from 9% to 12%. All this means is you have 8 vertical flicks instead of 11, which is fair because ideally the vertical flick should take up more ink than the horizontal flick. For the new kit, I don't want this section to be too long, so I'm going to make it quick. In my notes, I said Burst Bomb or Splat Bomb for the sub, but thinking about it harder, I feel like this weapon is practically made for Burst Bomb. It just works so well with the vertical flicks for long range combos. For the special, I want to give it Inkjet. I was originally going to give it Wave Breaker, but I forgot my reasoning, so maybe it's for the best. Inkjet is just good for an option to, to get in. This thing would be a monster on retail and it will also help with longer range poking and rush down scenarios. Now, with Big Swig done, we can move on to a main weapon that came out in the same season and is equally as bad as Big Swig, the Splattershot Nova. This weapon has a fairly good second kit. This is the only time I'm going to touch on the second kit as well as the actual main weapon. Splattershot Nova is just a paint bot. The vanilla kit has a special that doesn't really matter or help with anything, but the ink jet is the only place where it's really good. The thing about Nova is it's 5 shot kill. It's slower than most shooters in the game as well as other 5 shot weapons like Aerospray which has a very fast fire rate to make up for the 5 shot, but this isn't the case for Nova. Weapons like Squeezer can just bully this thing because of their kill time and range and it just doesn't matter, it's just kind of insignificant. But hey, at least it paints. All it doesn't do right is everything else. The main thing being everything just treats it like a joke because you have so much time to actually deal with them before they kill you. And even if you're heavily chipped, the weapon doesn't combo with much so you could even go for a trade at the state it's in. I have two buffs and one nerf for its second kit specifically. Starting us off with the obvious one, I'm going to increase the damage dealt from the measly 24 to a bit better 27. Not only does this make it a 4 shot, but it also makes it a bit more intimidating as a weapon and should compensate for its fire rate. So speaking of the fire rate, it's still a bit measly even after that buff, so I'm going to increase it just enough so that it poses a threat, but less than Splash, which shouldn't be too hard considering how fast Splash fires. And finally, for the second kit specifically, I'm going to nerf the points for special from 210 to 220p. The inkjet spam is just very annoying sometimes, and it'll be even worse now that the main weapon actually works. So this was not included in the thumbnail, but I originally had Undercover Brilla planned for this video. Unfortunately, I want to keep these videos short while still being informative, and I'm out of time for now, but I will do Undercover in its own video next Saturday. I think it's a very interesting weapon that is very much deserving of its own video. Let me know what you think about these changes in the comments. I'll see you then, and have a good one.